Here's 7 Sky Flashes you absolutely must know if you're thinking about locking Sky. Flash number 1, Ascent. Be made. This is the Jimmy Jam Flash. You probably know him if you clicked on this video. Alright Goblin, how the fuck do you have a hidden tracker? What? What? Yeah, it's insane. Basically what you want to do is stand by the entrance of B main. Once the gate goes down, send your flash out and pop it once it gets to the window. If you do it right, it should blind everyone running up B main. And this flash is even better post nerf because you pop it right after this line. Flash number 2, bind, hookah. Oh, I want to preface the rest of this video that these last 6 flashes were made by me. So they might not be the absolute best flashes, but I think they have high potential. Anyways, you're going to want to send your bird towards these boxes, then flick it back up and pop it. The idea is that the attackers are going to turn it like it's a fake, then turn back thinking you might swing, getting full blinded. Ideally, you're using this flash after you condition the enemy team to think you're going to pop or fake flash, then hit them with this. It should blind everyone running up mid. Flash number 3, Breeze, Backside B. For this flash, you're going to want to send your skybird into the sky behind you and do a delayed flash. This is a great flash when you're getting pushed on B. The attackers will either be forced to turn or get full blinded. This flash works best when you know that they're pushing up backside on you, so they don't have this corner to hide behind. This flash pops up here, so it also serves as a delay for maybe like a Sova who just got off drone. Flash number four, Fracture. Now this isn't just one flash. I think Sky on Fracture is very good as an info gathering agent. If you're playing against hard defaulters, Sky is your best friend in finding where they might not be. Just flashing any of the entry points to any of the sites is a great way to see if they're there or not. If they're not there, you can just push up and take space, and if they start waiting for your flashes, you can just send it even further out. But if you want a flash you might not have seen before, check this out. When you're retaking A, you can throw your flash through the hole in the ceiling. It pops up here, but a big problem with this is that when people are holding CT, they're usually underneath sight, so this only works in certain situations. Flash number 5, Haven. Backside C. When you're defending C, throw the hawk up into the sky behind you, and do a delayed flash. It pops around here and blinds anyone pushing up C. Similar to the previous flash, it works best when you know they're right about to commit. Flash number 6, Icebox. A side. This is an aggressive sky flash where you push Bell at the start of the round. Uh. Right when the gate falls, throw your flash around here, grab the zip line, and zip to Bell, popping the flash as you land. This blinds everyone running up Bell and pushing out Amy. If you're having trouble making the Bell jump from the zip, try this. Look directly 90 degrees towards Bell. And as you jump, hold W and only W, and then press space and your crouch key. This makes making the jump a lot more consistent. Our final flash, Pearl, B-side. This flash, like the Breeze and Haven flash, is a delayed flash that pops behind you. It blinds everyone running up B-long and works best when you know that they're in front of the pillar, so they either have to turn or get full flashed. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments if you enjoyed and if this helped you. If you want more of these types of videos, don't forget to subscribe and check out this video if you want to see a creative flash that might throw your opponents off.